So now let us do a timing analysis on this and see what happens. Okay. So what I'll do is maybe I will copy another diagram and we'll do it on that. So for simplicity now, I am going to assume the following. T sum equal to 1, T carry also equal to 1. We, we saw, I showed you a circuit also where this can be achieved. Equal delay for carry and sum. Okay. So now we are going to do and of course, T and also equal to 1. So now let us do a static timing analysis on this block and propagate these signals to the half, half adders and assume everything is a full adder now. Okay. So the, the arrival time at the output of every AND gate at, at least the first AND gate is what? Actually every AND gate. Yeah, because all X's and Y's arrive at time 0. Right? This is what is known x0 to 3, y0 to 3, arrival time. equal to 0. Therefore, everything will arrive at unit time here. Correct? What about the, uh, of course, these AND gates also are the same. Okay? So, now the first half adder, what is the arrival time for carry out? This guy. It is going to be 1 plus 1. This will be 2, 2. Right? Full adder, next full adder. 3 and 3. 4, 4. 5, 5. Right? Next stage. What is this? 4. 5, 6, 7, last stage, yeah, you take max arrival time, right, of both inputs 1 and 5, 5 plus 1 unit, 6, 6, 7, 7, now of course the 6, 6 is the same. For this full adder, this one A or B is arriving at 6, the carry is also arriving at 6. So, max is 6 plus 1 unit 7, right. This will be again 8, 8, uh, oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. This will also be what, 7. So, this will be 8, 8 and this will be? 9, 8 plus 1, correct? So, uh, this is 6, 6 plus 1, 7, right? And this is 8, yeah, okay. Now, what is the critical path of this block? So you got to pick the output. What are your outputs? For this multiplier block, right? My multiplier block 4 cross 4 mult is basically A 0 to 3, B 0 to 3 and output Z 0 to 7. Pick the output which has the maximum arrival time. Which one is that? Z9, I mean Z6 or Z7. So, I will track this in this. Now, which input has arrived last there? This guy. Now, now which input has arrived last? Both, right? Effectively, what this is saying is there are multiple critical paths all with the same delay. So, it is impossible to sort of optimize this because everything is equally critical, 
Now, which one? If you want to optimize one critical path, there should be another path which you can sacrifice delay on. Then you can optimize. But now there are multiple paths, right? So, for example, you can go like this, right? Or you could go like this or any other path you take right to arrive at 7 everything is single time so there is nothing that you can do in order to optimize this path so you also notice what is happening is if you take every single stage here right if you take a single stage as uh, I don't know the color okay if you take this guy it is basically like a ripple adder Right, I am basically just rippling my carry through that stage. Each row I am rippling my carry through that stage. Correct. So, it that is really not helping you. So, now we will come to what he pointed out that it is really not necessary for you to ripple the carry along the same row. I need to add it. Right, when I do x1, y0, I have to add it to, I have to add it and get a carry. And the carry needs to be propagated to the addition of and contribute to Z2. But it need not happen this way. It can also happen this way. You add X2, Y0, X1, Y1. And when you are adding with X0, Y2, you basically add that carry. You follow me? I need to add three numbers x2 y0 x1 y1 x0 y2 plus a carry that is coming from the previous state. I need to add 4 numbers that can be done in many ways. I am saying you do x2 y0 x1 y1 first. Then you get the sum. Then you add that carry. The advantage is while x2 y0 x1 y0 has generated a sum that previous carry would have also got generated. And the hope is this signals will arrive together. Right. So, in some sense, instead of adding the carry immediately, you are saving the carry and adding it later. Right. Therefore, the next architecture of multiplier, we are going to basically call a Okay. By the way, if I were to, you know, <coughs> assume x is m bits and y is n bits, then what is the expression for the critical path delay of my array multiplier? Yeah, uh, one second before I do that, I go, let me check if my notation is correct with M and N. So that is what I do not remember. Oh, sorry, X is N bits, Y is M bits. I am sorry. Okay, so that we do not get confused with the expressions later. Okay, this is M bits, uh, N bits, I am sorry, N bits. And this is m bits okay now let's not assume t sum t carry and all that you know equal to 1 we will write it in terms of that delay okay so what is the delay so what you do is you just track this blue line here right how many carry paths does it have to go through No, no, remember this blue line ultimately has to come all the way till here.
how many carry paths does it have to go through? No, no. So, if x is n bits, y is m bits. So, let us write that expression p array mult. Of course, the first delay is the time to generate the partial products. One unit of time is needed for that, which is t and. Ah. Now, it has to go through some number of sums and some number of carries. How many of them? n plus m minus n plus m minus 2 t carry plus how many t sums? How many t sums? Basically, this is one t sum, another t sum, another t sum, right? That is how many t sums? Uh, uh, yeah, that is actually a carry, okay. What I meant was this is a t sum. So, how many, how many t sums? No, we will verify this answer. We know the arrival time has to be 9, right? So, we will plug in these values 1, 1, 1 and see what we get and then we will see where we went wrong. I would say for 4 bits, it is 3 T sums. Right? You got to go through this guy, this guy, and then this guy. Right? So, is this right? First, you substitute and see, then we will see. For n equal to 4, m equal to 4. T and T carry T sum are all 1. How many T carries? n plus m minus 2. Mm. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 is what I am getting here. Make sense? M minus two? Correct. Okay, m plus m minus 2. Okay, now substitute and see do we get 9? We do, right? Okay, this seems to make sense. So, let us see if the answer matches from you know what is given in the textbook in just in case we have made a mistake. Uh, m minus 1, yeah, this is what I thought, m minus 3 t carry plus m minus 1 t sum and t and. 
Why did you say m minus 2? That depends on the path, you know. So, I understand that, yeah, it could be, maybe it could be this also, right? One path might be this. I think the other path is T and plus N plus, let me write it differently, M minus 2 plus N minus 1 T carry plus M minus 1 T sum. I think, why? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. In the okay, I agree. I agree in the sense that this guy, blue line, has to go through this and then come here. Then it has to go here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Right? And then again, it comes here, arrival time here, and then it has to go here. Correct? Yeah, this makes sense. Yes, I agree with you. Okay. So, basically what we are saying is there are how many T sums? 1, 2 and 3 which is M minus 1 T sums. Right? And the remaining are basically your carries. So, I have X being an N bit number. I need to go through n minus 1 t carries and another m minus 2 t carries for the y direction. Clear? So, it is just a question of counting how many carries and sums you have to go along the critical path. So, therefore, I would I would think this is a more appropriate answer. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So, in, in some sense, we have basically, you know, not represented reality perfectly here in this arrival time picture. Right. So, you are right. Where there are more T sums, that is what we have to do. And uh, in fact, if you, if you take, so I would say you go back and work this out for if this were 2. T sum were 2 units and T carry were 1 unit, then you will find that this guy is actually the signal with most delay because you have to wait for that sum to come out. Then you go only along the sums propagated and then you can find I think this will turn out to be the right answer. Basically, M, like you said M minus 1 T sums as opposed to M minus 2 T sums is the exact answer ok. So, let me just maybe write that out again T array multiplier is equal to T and right plus M plus N minus 3 into T carry plus m minus 1 t sum, okay. 